Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh Chaudhary and you can visit my homepage at www.hiteshchaudhary.com and can visit Learn from Hitesh section as well as my contact form. Your feedbacks are really a very precious thing to me and keeps me motivating to create such videos. So let us move ahead in this course and try to focus what we have got. We have got a new challenge for you. So let us try to solve that challenge and first of all try to set up that challenge. So again we have got an SQL for you, the lab setup. Let me open up a terminal here and I would like to zoom it a bit so that we can have a much more clarity in what I'm typing out here. So first of all I would like to start the service that is Apache 2 start and please start my SQL as well. Next thing I want to travel into the slash root desktop directory do a quick ls and I'll find that lesson 10 dot zip file is along with me. Now if I try to move on this lesson zip file to slash war www master directory and also travel to this directory that is slash war www and master directory I'll find that file here now. So here we have our uh, lesson 10 dot zip I'm not able to actually see that file so let me go back here if I have uh, it's not there so perhaps my eyes are not seeing it so let me just travel to master do a quick ls um, where I have actually copied that file that might be really a question now Lesson 10, I have copied it somewhere. Let us try to unzip the file. If I have that file and I'm not able to find that file, this really is an annoying situation. Yes, the file is out here. Oh, here it is. I really missed you out here. Sometime I miss out. Uh, what happened to my eyes? I really worried about that. Okay, so what I can do, I can start Firefox and do a quick ampersand to start it in a background process. And here is our Firefox. What I can do, I can start a local host master and this time we have got a lesson 10. Okay, so here is your ninja fighting along with you to find out the cracking of this particular lesson. Now, you can do a lots of stuff in this lesson. First of all, whenever a pen tester or programmer sees a form like this, he just sees that, hey, I have to bypass this form. Uh, by using some SQL injection, the famous zero single quote or somewhat like that. Yes, you can do that and we will do that quite a lot in our series. But really, I want to discuss something else in this video. First of all, let me try with admin and password. Really, uh, this uh, dislike sign, you can simply say, is saying that you haven't done well. So this is a simple up sign and down sign, which will tell you that you have done a right or wrong. So in this case, uh, I have done it wrong. What my advice here would be that first of all, don't try to hack into your penetration system, the penetration project which you have got. Try to apply the most common passwords. And really this would be a nice guide to your client that, hey, please don't use these kinds of weak passwords. So admin password is not working, admin and admin. Uh, this time we have got a thumbs up. That means it's a quite weak password. Another important thing that I would like to focus you here is your login name, that is admin, your password is admin. So I have explicitly made it available that it is quite visible. Now what I can do here, let's apply one more thing. The famous uh, string that you have might have seen somewhere like zero single quote or single quote zero, single quote equals to single quote zero. Now this is really a good string that help to bypass lots of things but let's check it out uh, i'll discuss this string in a much detail but really what i have seen that most of the programmer tries out to work in this way only that they have found this string somewhere on the internet and just to work out around that that's not actually the way how we do that of course we have bypassed but really what interests me around is here if i hit a single quote here because this is actually a pure simple query and what happens if i hit a submit Oh, that's really something new. 
we have got an SQL syntax error. Check the manuals that corresponds for uh, this near password. Now, this is something strange that happened. Let's hit a backslash here and try to find out what is the thing that break the query. So we can see that single quote has break the query. So let me try with this a single quote and try to fix the query as well with a hyphen hyphen plus sign. And I notice that query doesn't fix up. Now what might be the wrong? Let me try again with the hyphen single quote then a hyphen hyphen only. This doesn't fix the query as well. Now if you remember from the past videos, what we can do else here is we can also try a lots of other things like commenting out, uh, balancing the queries and all. So let me try with a single quote and hit a pound sign that is hash sign. Now this time it has fixed the query. Now that's the only thing that I need out here. So let me try with something else. I hope you have got what might be the background query. Select star from uh, let's say table called username, select star from uh, admin where username in some bracket or single quotes he has taken the username and password in from some single quote he has taken the password. I hope you can build up this pseudo query by now and let me try again with that single quote and a hash sign. So this is how we fix up the query. Now what I can do I can apply order by one. Okay nothing happens. Uh, what happen if I apply order by two? Okay, nothing is happening. And what if I apply order by three? Okay, unknown column three in order clause. Now this is something unique for many of you. This is really a great injection. It is a post base injection that we are trying to uh, work out in this challenge. So, okay, we have got the things up. So I can simply say it's working till the two. What I can say here is union select union all select and select you can put any of that Let's try out which one of them is working it gives you a direct access that you can find out your login name one and password two from this in this case so really it's a great way and unique way to find out how you can ju uh, jump out with some different ways okay so here it is what i can do in place uh, let's find out the database as a function and, and on the place of two let's immediately find out the version you can run out these things uh, separately as well here is the security and ubuntu 12.10 version which i am running also what i can do here is now let me show you one more command and i will leave uh, rest of the things for you so table underscore name and at the end before just the point sign where my query actually completes uh, get fixed i can type from information underscore schema dot tables where don't forget to put the where clause in because sometimes the things work without where clause but most of the time it doesn't where table underscore schema equals to in two single code we can put out security that is the name of my database so here we have got the emails, the first table. I, I hope you got the hint that I really want to tell you in this challenge. So this was really a great and many times it doesn't, uh, the query doesn't break out with a single code. So also what you have to do, try out different things that you have learned so far in the series. And really I don't think so there is much more need for these kinds of particular uh, two, three injection that we again need to jump back to the command prompt since all the queries are same. It's just a different way we are approaching on to the SQL injection. Of course, whenever there be a need felt that you sh I should tell you something on the command prompt, I'll take you back with no issues. So hope you have enjoyed this type of SQL injection. Try to find out all the tables and datas into the database. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to drop me an email.